The comments from Prince Harry came during a Q&A as his role as chief impact officer in mental health startup BetterUp. He said quitting your job for the sake of your mental health and happiness is something to be celebrated. The prince added that many people around the world are stuck in jobs that don't bring them joy but now they are putting their mental health and happiness first by quitting. Today show Australia hosts mocked the Duke of Sussex's comments. Host Richard Wilkins said, Prince Harry has come under fire again after saying that quitting your job can bring joy and should be celebrated. This advice from someone you know, who lives in a multi-million dollar mansion with a $50 million Netflix deal and all, it's a bit rich, isn't it? What do you reckon? Susie L. Elman added, it is. There certainly is nothing like getting opinions from that rarefied air of wealth when you've got a trust fund that you've inherited, and you live in a $12 million mansion. The interesting comment that I think he made most of all was, you know, sometimes we have to settle for living in places less than what we would like to live in. She added, well, I know there's a lot of people at work that are trying to just keep a roof over their head, regardless of what that sort of home is. So I thought that they actually left the royals and wanted to be left alone and not have any publicity. Well, I've got to tell you, they're not doing themselves any favors. It's so true, especially in these times, people are living from paycheck to paycheck and they don't have that luxury just to kind of go I'm not enjoying this. If only was so simple. They joked, like there's only three things you have to do. You leave the family home, you become friends with Oprah and you signed a multi-million deal with Netflix is that easy. It's that easy. Prince Harry joined BetterUp, a coaching, and mental health firm just under a year after he quit his job as a senior royal and left the UK to carve out a new life in the US. During the interview he also spoke about the effect of the pandemic, saying, while on the surface it looks like these last couple of years brought all these issues to the foreground, the reality is these struggles and issues have been brewing for quite some time. We're just at the beginning of the mental health awakening. This work has never been more important because people are finally paying attention, and a big component of this mission is building awareness and continuing to pioneer the conversation. He added, I've actually discovered recently, courtesy of a chat with, Better Up Science board member, Adam Grant, that a lot of the job resignations you mention aren't all bad. In fact, it is a sign that with self-awareness comes the need for change. Many people around the world have been stuck in jobs that didn't bring them joy, and now they're putting their mental health and happiness first. This is something to be celebrated. In the other hand, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex featured in phone conversations between the Queen and her husband before he died, a photographer has claimed. A new documentary centering on a difficult period for the monarch entitled 2021, The Queen's Terrible Year explores Harry and Meghan's departure to California. In the Channel 5 show, photographer for The Sun Arthur Edwards says that Megxit was one of the things the 95-year-old monarch discussed with her husband. The conversations, he claims took place while the Duke of Edinburgh was bedbound before he died in April. She must have been concerned, but she probably spoke to him every day on the phone, he told the program. And she probably discussed the Harry and Meghan situation on the phone with Philip. I think if he had any patience left, he would have probably calmed the Queen down a wee bit. The latest dive into the trials and tribulations of the Windsors comes as Her Majesty prepares to mark 70 years on the throne with her Platinum Jubilee next year. It will follow an especially difficult time for the royal family after Meghan and Harry announced they were stepping down from senior duties last year and left for the U.S.